diabetes and low blood sugar or hypos how to identify low blood sugar how to treat low blood sugar and what factors to keep in mind while treating low blood sugar goals of learning what is low blood sugar why is low blood sugar so dangerous for the patient's health and well-being how can you identify low blood sugar how should you treat low blood sugar and what are other considerations when treating low blood sugar let's first see what is low blood sugar a blood sugar or blood glucose value of below 70 mg percent is called a low blood sugar then what is hypo hypo is another name of low blood sugar in medical terms low blood sugar is called hypoglycemia hypo means low and glycemia means blood glucose hypo term is used much more commonly by type 1 diabetics who are younger when they started diabetes they are usually below 25 years of age however hypo and low blood sugar is one and the same thing now the question is why is low blood sugar so dangerous when i ask my patients whether the high blood sugar is more dangerous or low blood sugar is more dangerous almost invariably they say that the high blood sugar is more dangerous high blood sugar causes damage to the body over months and years unless the sugar value is very very high the damage from high blood sugar comes very slowly compared to that low blood sugar can cause serious and even permanent damage to the body including death in a few minutes time so low blood sugar if it is serious say the blood sugar was 20 or 30 it can cause permanent damage to the brain and to the body and can even cause death in a few minutes and that is why over the short period of time low blood sugar is much more dangerous than high blood sugar the other thing is there is very narrow range for the sugar to fall because up to 70 the blood sugar is normal and at 30 or 40 it is significantly low it is seriously low so there is only a range of about 30 mg percent to fall compare this to the high blood sugar which could be 150 180 200 250 even 300 but won't cause much problem in the short run unless it is associated with acid formation but even then it will take hours to days to cause the damage so low blood sugar is extremely important for a diabetic especially now when we are trying to control the a1c's level better the significance of low blood sugars is increased